Welcome to elementary, Mondays at six. So please do excuse me today. I am still under the weather. However, the show must go on. So how have you been? Hope you've had a fabulous day and a little blustery was the way we started, but definitely a great day. Um, definitely had a fabulous day and um, I am inviting my guest who's going to join any minute now. So, um, and for all of you that join us, ah, thank you. Thank you so much for spending your evening with us. And look at this hi, hi, beautiful, yes. beautiful family that I'm interviewing today. I'm so excited. Um, and I'm, def I'm, I'm, I'm even more excited today because um, you guys are awesome. Of course, we have the star of the show who knows he's the star. <laughs> and then we, yes, have, we have the broad and the brain behind it, right? <laughs> he's a cutie. Yeah. Benjamin, you are adorable. So say hi. Benjamin. Let's get say hi. Hi, ben Benjamin. <laughs> Too cute, and someone's <laughs> giving you lots of love. So let's get started. Introduce yourself and your Instagram handle. Uh, I think you just froze. Oh no. Oh no. So if you can hear me and if you and you're frozen so just maybe come back into the to the live and it, it doesn't matter if he's talking in the background so for all of you watching i hope you've had a fabulous monday um i've had, had um a great monday so far um just getting better i had oh but you're frozen on my screen do I need yeah, you're frozen. Oh, there we go. Let's see if this one works better. There we go. Awesome. Perfect. So awesome. I was saying, let's get started. Tell us, um, introduce yourself in your Instagram handle. Yeah, sure. So, well, my name is Johan De Olio and my wife is Genetica Costa. This little guy here is Benjamin De Olio Costa, and <laughs> just landing the handle, uh, that's what we went for. We are proud of our family business, and we name it De Olio Acosta Media, D-O-A Media. And yeah, Perfect. just to talk, to talk a little bit about ourselves, we are a young couple of engineers, originally from Dominican Republic, and... A short story, we landed in Canada in 2018, April 2018. Things are going well for our professional jobs. And now we are kind of in this uh, entrepreneurial path, trying to launch our photography business. Um, okay. Oops. Uh-oh, you froze again. Okay, I don't know if you can hear me, but I can keep talking, but I can't hear you though. That's the difference. Yeah, you know, I know sometimes, I'm so sorry, but sometimes, you know, on the best of days, we have the worst connections and I'm not quite sure what it is, but sometimes it just happens. Uh... Okay, we changed device. I'm not sure what happened there. But... It's okay. It happens. Trust me, it happens more than you think. Ah, so Renald Delacruz says uh, they're the best. So I believe you. I believe you. So you were saying that you're a new service. Um, did... So tell us about your services. What, what do you offer? Yeah. So we are a one-stop shop of uh, real estate agents, most of it. We um, offer photography service for listing media, 
that includes ground photography, aerial drone footage, and that a truly one-stop shop, including also 3D tours, floor planning, videos for your social media, like reels that are coming very popular right now, cinematics and, and more. Uh, so that cover, uh, let's say, the packages we offer. Yeah, very nice, very, very nice. I've seen some of your, your stuff and it's, uh, it's a lot of attention to detail. We can touch on that as we go through. So, you know, as a realtor, you know, first impressions are everything in real estate, right? And in your experience, like how does your professional photography impact a buyer's like impression of the property? Like what do you take into consideration as the photographer? Uh, well, we know that first impression uh, for potential buyers uh, is typically oh, wow. the listing photos. That's why, that's why we are uh, focusing on list listing media. So having said that, um, uh, I would say that uh, we have to be careful on, on choosing the people we work with. Uh, photographers, professional photographers uh, particularly, what, what are trying to do is tell the story on how to showcase the property appropriately. So you can catch the attention oh. of the buyers in a specific way where you are trying to get the those sales points of the properties. So uh, that's one thing. Um, I think that the other ten things that you could be uh, exploring the property. Well, yeah, uh, pre-prep the property accordingly for the pre-shoot and get you know, things that we can discuss uh, in, in upfront. Uh, but uh, yeah, that's it. The focus is on listing, listing media. That's the first impression that you can get from the buyers in the beginning when they see the photos of the property. No, it's so important, right? I, I mean, I'll give you my experiences as such. And I'm, I'm a firm believer if I have a good experience with a person, I'm going to share it because I feel like, uh, um, <laughs> Um, yeah, like I feel like if if I have a good experience with um, with um, with the photographer, I want to share it to the whole world because I feel like you know that's gonna make or break what I put out there, right? And I have a brand, and you know I want to make sure I put out the best for my client, right? So it's so important. Um, let me ask you about lighting. Like lighting plays a crucial role in photography. You know, can you share some inside tips on how um, a property can be shown in the best light? Absolutely. Yes. In terms of lighting, I think obviously uh, the exposure theory in photography is the primarily uh, item that you have to consider in terms of professional photography. Uh, when you shoot a home, my suggestions will be try to make sure that all the lightings are turned on in the property. Make sure that all of them have the same tonality, being generic like that warm mm -hmm. color, warm mm -hmm. tone. You know, it's subjective, but at least try to all the lights be the same thing. Some tips that I could say is uh, these are small details that make huge impact in the photography. For example, expose the window. The windows. If you if your property has beautiful windows, uncover them. Try to allow all that light, natural light, coming to the property. If the windows have these horizontal tiles, a, a very useful tip is um, position the tiles 45 degrees, aiming to the ceiling. That will allow the light, natural light, coming to the ceiling and reflate and bounce back to all the areas of the property. That absolutely helps a lot, especially ourselves that we use a three bracketed exposure technique where we hand blend in a high dynamic range ADR, HDR, DR photo. With these lighting setups and all that exposure with the windows, we can allow to showcase the details outside the window. Sometimes it's very, you know, it is an attractive feature of a property, being able to see I don't know, the ravine in the property, mm -hmm. but also everything indoor. So uh, that's, that's another one. If I come up with another one, let's say that in terms of lighting, the color that I love and I like is white because white reflects very well everything. So you can have like 
different soft boxes in a property if you have the right colors in the walls. It's awesome. So I've, uh, in your portfolio, the details in each shot are like are impeccable. I've noticed, I can tell the difference. Like I'm not like a photographer, but you know, I can tell the difference um, when I'm looking at your, when I'm looking at your portfolio. And you know, what's your secret to capture? I know you've probably already given me some, but what's your secret to capture those fine details? You know, anyone can be a photographer, but to capture those details means like it's, it, it brings out a whole different vibe. It's not just being, you know, a photographer, especially for real estate, right? Yes. Now, now to be honest, you know, uh, details are this, it, the, the secret are in the small details, in small details like decluttering the house. You can imagine how impactful mm -hmm. it is. It doesn't matter if the furniture, the staging is expensive, it's in the high end, in the low end. If you have a declutter, full declutter and organized property, those shots are gonna be amazing. And I would say that first, good organization and truly a good sense of spacing and how you position the objects of the, of the property. So again, it doesn't matter how, how expensive is the home, how cheap is the home? Mm -hmm. It's about declaring it properly, uh, organizing in a way that makes sense, the space that you have available, small or big, right? And, and, and being able to showcase in a good story the property uh, that, that we are uh, shooting. Yeah, and that's, that's the key, right? Showcasing in a good story. I mean, I'll, I'll tell you, I offer for my, for my homes, I'll offer as part of uh, what I do. Um, I offer the the professional cleaning, uh, the organizing. Like the first thing you're going to see is an organizer. You know, professional organizing, helping you declutter, getting rid of some stuff, and you know, taking a little bit of time in the front end of it, and also um, spending a little bit of money to you know do all of those things. But it really takes a good photographer to bring out all of that hard work. I can tell you there are days where I have the photographer come in and I'm very frustrated with what I get. So, and I've seen some of your shots and they're very, very good. So I'm, you know, I'm excited for what you have to offer. Very, very frankly, I'm very excited for what you have to offer. Thank you. Thank you. I think uh, just to add on top of that, probably real, like you, you could have a good photography background in another niche, but when we go to real estate, uh, people tend to add more complexity, but truly is, you know, good composition, a straight verticals, because you want to, you want to show as big as, as much space as you can. Right. And, 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 and obviously what we want to stand out more than the product itself, we feel comfortable offering a good product, but where we want to really stand out is in the service. We want to be able to, work with the agents, provide a good service, make them feel that they have an extended arm of their team. So we are gonna take care of uh, all of their needs, not just in terms of photography, but also in terms of their clients, right? Like the clients for our client, of our clients are truly our clients as well. So, you know, it's not just the photography itself, it's also everything around that. Yeah, yeah absolutely. So virtual tours, now virtual tours are becoming quite popular, you know, um, can you discuss, you know, how you integ integrate this technology or to enhance the property listing? Yes, uh, maybe to provide a little bit of context around virtual tours, uh, they become really, really popular and interesting in the real estate photography industry since COVID-19. Uh, because that was a straightforward an alternative for you to showcase a property in a distance, right? Like without any social interaction. So we have seen trends uh, towards 3D tours in COVID. Now has, you know, a little bit uh, slowed, mm -hmm. slowed down. But what I think it truly adds value is we are now living 
in, in a global market, right? More and more we're seeing global transactions and yes. virtual tours is a great service, it's a great solution to catch the attention and provide service and expand your uh, customers' coverage with this with this feature. You can you can close a transaction without a owner coming into the property physically, but you can literally showcase every single aspect of the property with the virtual tour. Oh, true, very true. So and and that's the, the key, right? Like I found, you know, sometimes during COVID, it was good to have virtual tours because that's kind of what how we just continued business. And sometimes the virtual tours can be polarizing. Sometimes, you know, people see it, but then don't show up. And then your client's like, hey, no one's coming to see this property. I said, yeah, because they looked at it online, you know, and if it's something they want to look at further, they'll come. But, you know, it's kind of one of those hidden miss things, right? But it's definitely, like you said, it gets more eyes and maybe eyes that can't physically see a property can, you know, take it in from a virtual tour. Now, uh, you know, real estate trends are always changing. Um, and so, like, how do you uh, stay ahead of these trends? Uh, honestly, like, we are a young couple, right? Uh, we are always catching up with the technologies and, and upcoming trends. For real estate photography, real estate is an old industry. Really, you know, uh, there is no... A much of a secret around how the business is run, but what is truly changing is the way you, the, how quickly you can turn around your business implementing those technologies. And I'll give you an example. If, if you have a, a property to shoot and you spend so much time getting the flashes, adding those complexity to get that extra 25% of quality in a photo, probably you might be shooting just one, two properties a day. But now we have the, the technique, for example, the technique that, that we use to get the, uh, the, the shots from the property uh, because it's so simple to set up the camera in one point, compose and have those three brackets and then in the editing room with the technology and AI hand blended together and get a nice shot. It's not going to be as perfect as with the flashes, but good enough to be efficient in the process. And you can get away in shooting six homes in a day, to give you an example, right? So by implementing these new trends and technology, you can be more efficient and adding more productivity into your business. So I would say that it is a personal decision. You rather go for the extra quality version of the product or you just want to go for the okay, okay version, the eyes of the customer won't see the notice, won't, won't notice the difference, uh, but your process, yes, will feel the difference, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's true. I mean, I, I'll give you an example. I had one, um, one uh, shoot that I did, and I've used them before. So I was kind of a little surprised. I don't know what happened. They sent me a different photographer. The guy showed up and first of all, he was late. So he messed up my whole plans. And then, so he couldn't come that time. He had to come a little later. And so I had to restructure the, the photography. And so we were like, okay, we'll do it in the evening. And, you know, so I'm already losing a bit of light. And so he shows up in the evening. He's already rushed because he had to come back to the property. And, and I was so, I was so upset. I was so upset because I'm a little bit of like, I like stuff to show up right in a certain and for, like I did all this work and if the photos are no good, like what am I doing all this work for? Right. So I was like so upset because I was like, Oh my God. When the sh when the photos came back, I'm like, like, Oh my God. Like, were you losing your eyesight? Because a blind person could even take better pictures. And I was like, so thrown off. I had to redo the pictures again for this property. Of course it went online with it, but then I had to, I, I just couldn't deal with it. I said, okay, I'm going to redo them, right? Um, and my client was like, no, it's fine. I said, it's not fine for me. You know, it's my brand, right? So we redid the pictures, but, and I had to pay, but it was a different story. Um, wow. No, so sad to hear. But that's yeah. why we are, yeah. that's why we are stressing that nowadays, I think our feeling is 
that service is going to take uh, a more relevant than the photos itself. For example, that last week I was shooting for an agent, a property, and the, she, the agent did tell me, did tell me in advance, this is going to be a difficult shoot uh, because the property won't be ready. There is a tenant in the in the of unit. Course. So, yeah. you know, I hope you can understand. And to be honest, for me, it was a uh, absolutely great opportunity to showcase the level and the quality of the service that we can provide. We don't matter if, you know, mm -hmm. it's going to be difficult something as long as we can get there in the property, help you out, move and stuff. Yes, it will take a while, it will take longer, but as long as we can serve and get that uh, property, the listing that it deserves, is something that we really uh, love to do because it will add more credibility to our jobs, not just a transaction. You know, this is not just a yes, photography. Yes. We want to also get that networking with the agents and that trust that they will be well taken care of with us. Yeah, yeah, no, absolutely. So every property has a story as we're talking. And how do you approach your photography to ensure that you've captured the unique characteristics of, uh, like, so the unique characteristics of the homes, home can shine through? Yeah, good question. Um, uh, honestly, this is something that we have already studied. Uh, we are, as I mentioned before, I think we got caught uh, with the first question. But we have an engineering background. Myself, I'm an uh, industri uh, in, in, industrial engineer, processing engineer. And Janerik is also a great project manager and, and uh, engineer as well. So we truly design a process that will allow us, room by room, get that walkthrough experience through our photo session. So yes, it is a standard, but it's not 100%, you know, repeatable in every single property because every property has its own details. And for that, we try to communicate with the agents what are the key features that they want to include in the property so we can integrate that into our workflow and try to create the best story only by photos, right? Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. So um, those are the questions I had for you today, but I do want to tell uh, people where they can reach you. Um, you know, I know I asked you Kind of difficult questions, I must say. So thank you for taking time to answer them. But where can people reach you um, to get a hold of you? Yeah, yeah thank you for, for also uh, having us here. You can find us at doamedia.ca. That's our Instagram account. Right there, you have all our contact information. You can contact me personally using the 647-355-0065. Janelle is a mad leaf. She will be joining the crew <laughs> shortly in, in April. So you can find Janelle as well, texting there in an administrative role as well. Perfect. Perfect. And of course, we won't, it won't be long before Benjamin joins as well, right? <laughs> we have to put well, him to work. Hopefully, He's still cute uh, to not make him work. <laughs> so ho hopefully he will, you know, feel part of the business the idea of doing that is also having that family you know family uh, atmosphere where we can do what we love right we are we like photography since a while now we are exercising as a as a business the photography and hopefully you know benjamin can get some something something out of it <laughs> that's good that's good it's his, his session plan there you go um, so, um, for those of you who spend your evenings with me on Mondays, whenever I do the show, thank you so much for your time. It's so appreciated. And for Doa Media, I am so grateful that you agreed to come on TV, uh, on TV, <laughs> Instagram, and do this interview with me because I'm like totally um, excited for you guys. And if for those of you watching who don't know me, my name is Jacqueline Watson. I'm a realtor with Sutton Group Tower, and my office is out of Toronto. And if you have a, a question, a, you know, a topic you'd like me to unpack further, I do this on Mondays when I'm not interviewing people. 
Um, you know, I come on and do a quick segment on the real estate market. If you want me to do a segment on your market particularly, I'm happy to do that as well. Or if there's a topic you want me to interview people, I'm happy to do that as well. So either way, uh, thank you so much for um, for joining us in this this evening session with us. And once again, if you uh, you know go on Instagram, you can you can um, follow uh, doamedia.ca, and or you can just go to my Instagram, and um, you'll see his contact in there. And Hopefully, if you're a realtor watching and you have another, um, um, you, you know, a listing coming up, you can ask this beautiful couple to help you out with your listing. And I'm sure you won't be disappointed. Thank you so much. And until next time. Thank Bye. you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, Bye now.